not see me. I blend in with the creeper and the zombie. Whoop. Hello, guys. We're back with episode two of Flans Taking More. Oh, damn it. <laughs> so, since last time, a lot has happened. I got a new gun. This is a spare anyway. I do still have my... Whoa, so laggy. I don't know if you saw, but last episode... Oh, we got a flamethrower. We... I'm not sure if last episode we got... I got this scar, but it's a machine gun. And, um... Why do I walk into chests so often? It's so annoying. Anyway, Kiabi is on right now. I think he's AFK though, because I keep talking to him, but he says nothing. Okay. But since last episode, we have got a nuclear reactor. So, with the nuclear reactor, we have... This is the reactor... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, we're out of fuel. Okay, hang on. Let me grab some fuel. This is our new ore chest. Here's... Yellorium is the fuel for this thing. It's radioactive, just Oh, restart in one minute? Mm, really, sir? So, I guess I'll see you on the other side of the restart. And we're back after that annoying interruption of the uh, restart. Silly server. Okay. As I was saying, Yellorium is the fuel for this reactor. So, we now have Yellorium in this, 48 of it. It actually comes as an ore. I'll look it up. Yell! Orium. Yeah. Ah, uh, here it is. Ye Yellowite ore. And... Yeah. <laughs> He's on. Um, yeah, he's on. Since last episode, we have done a lot. I made this auto smelting system. So you put ores in here. It sucks it out with that item duct. And then puts it in here. And then it pulverizes it. Oh, watch, ready? See? It gets the pulverized materials and it takes the dust and smelts it in here then it automatically puts it back in here and then from here it goes into here this chest that's why we have all our ores because this was filling up it filled up to about there so now this is like an overflow plus I made a gunpowder factory but it doesn't automatically take out the gunpowder yet I'm gonna do that I could do that right now actually so I think I'm going to put the gunpowder chest here. Thank you. Do I have servos on me? Yes, I do. Alright, so. Oh, it's actually going. Oh, someone put biofuel in there. <laughs> I'm going to try and sieve the biofuel. Um, so, I'm going to put the chest down here. This is going to be for gunpowder. Give me that. Thank you. Put another chest there. Do that. And then I'll have to whitelist gunpowder. So that means it'll only take gunpowder. So to do that, I need to find some gunpowder that we already have stored. Um, so... Better have some... Yeah, we've got some gunpowder. We've got plenty of gunpowder. And gunpowder is good for making bombs and missiles and ammunition for guns and stuff. So, to make this whitelist gunpowder, you put the servo in. Right? Just a normal servo. And this mod is from Thermal Expansion. Um, and then you go right click it. No, yeah, right click. <laughs> and then you go click on that. So now it's whitelisting anything you put in here. Then you put one gunpowder in there. And then you click ignored. So then it doesn't need a redstone signal to be used. Did it take all my gunpowder? 
Um, don't think it did. Okay. So now, when it makes the gunpowder, it should take it out. So let me think. The only things that should be coming through here... Okay, I'll, I'll take you through the process. And I'll tell you about my new tools. So, actually I think I had these last episode. I've got this epic obsidian pickaxe. It's got fancy, which I don't know what that does. Reinforced, durability, durab uh, durability. <laughs> durability plus 500. Haste and luck. Haste makes it faster, durability makes it... Reinforced two, I mean, oh my god, reinforced three, which means it'll last longer, I'm guessing. And luck means sometimes it'll double the ores that you mine. This one has writable, I don't know what the heck that means. Wait, 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 I bet you I know what that means. Ready? So, I'm just going to check. I'm going to guess. No, I, I thought that. Because sometimes you can do that and then it has an option to write on it. Oh, Silky Jewel, one of these was mine. Because I was going to make... This also has um, Flux modifier on it, but it's not showing it. So I've got this charge pad here and you see um, in the green writing under the Obsidian Pickaxe, I'm not going to read the numbers, something out of something RF. Then... Watch this. This is a charge pad. It'll also do it to this because this is a little bit used. See, the RF will go up and that's full. And this one is now full. So now they've got full durability. Durability. And it's really good. And yeah. This hammer has writable. No idea what that means. Reinforced one. Auto repair, which means it doesn't actually need flux. It just rep re repairs by itself over time. Auto smelt as well. And haste and flux but I didn't it doesn't display flux for some reason what is up here oh this is yeah he said he's starting up a farm okay so wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute wait, wait, wait. oh yeah auto smell with a normal hammer when you mine stone like this you get cobblestone this does a special particle particle effect and it automatically smelts it as you mine it so this is perfect to make gunpowder you put stone in here and I've got like a do dozen speed upgrades. And then that bit doesn't work. It is meant to actually... This will be hard to actually program. Hmm. I'm just going to try something. Um... Oh, I know. I know what I can do. Okay, so... I can get some more of these and I'm going to make it whitelist cobblestone. No, go like that and like that. And then it should do a loop. And then I'll put a servo here. Right click it. Whitelist that. No redstone required. So now let's try that again. If I put a stone there, crush it, take it out, take out the thingy. Wait, hang on, transport or config. So I need, let me think. So that is the front. That means it'll be this one. I need that one to be set to dark blue. Which means I need to go back to the start. Yay. So many settings. Dark blue. Now, side config, output, auto eject on. What the heck? I do not know how you do this. Upgrades, transporter config. I want it to output <laughs> dark blue. Strict input off. Um, what if you turn that on? Does it do? Does it give you any options? No. Okay, dark blue, please. In take it, take it, take it out. So that's whitelist. Hmm. You should be getting taken out. Let's see if I make all of them.
Now it does it work? No! Why? <sighs> anyway, what it should be doing is taking that, then putting that in there, then it makes it into gravel, then it takes the gravel out, puts it in the auto sieve, and then it should be taking a flint out of there, but I'm guessing it's not, for reasons unknown. And then the flint should be going, yes, it should be taking flint out of there and then popping it back in there. You know, I'm going to get my crescent hammer, get rid of you, and I'm going to see if I can make it feed it back into the front. Okay. No, it's not going to connect to the front. Okay. Well, that means that means that this is not going to be any use. It now you just have to operate it off cobble. Because I think I'm the only one with a um <coughs> auto smelt on oh, my hammer, so it doesn't really matter. So you put <coughs> now you put cobblestone in there, takes the gravel out takes it out and then the trouble that I now have hmm. okay so why is it not working or is it working because this is then meant to get the flint and then it crushes it and makes it into gunpowder and the gunpowder goes in here my goodness <laughs> And we have an automatic steel maker. So you put iron in here. And that's why I've got some steel on me. I keep thinking that's our um, iron chest. But it's not our ore chest, I mean. Okay, so I'll take some of this, make some steel. So it goes in there. And this has a bazillion speed upgrades. Then it makes enriched iron. But that doesn't stay. It goes into the back here. And this is made into st steel dust. And then the steel dust should be getting taken out. Wait, is this set to blacklist? Hang on. What? Oh, wrong one. So let me get this like this. What? I don't think. Wait, hang on. So this is the front. Maybe that's not dark blue. It may be purple. Nope, I'm guessing it is actually dark blue. Let me see. Uh, actually, it might be indigo. Oh goodness, I need to get back to where I was. Um, dark blue, no, dark green, dark aqua, dark red, purple, indigo. Does that work? Why? Why? Input, I want it to output. Yes, it worked! Then, should be putting the steel in here. Yes, and then it smelts it up. And then it goes in here. Now, let me see. Oh. Um. I'm going to see if I can do that with this. So, I had this set to indigo. Good indigo. Wait a minute, hang on. Oh my goodness. Oh my goshness. Okay. Indigo. 
Indigo back. Then I went to side config. Input energy output. Hmm. <coughs> okay, so I'm trying to get this to work. Okay, let me try if I have this as dark blue. Did I? Oh my god, I bet you. <laughs> Did I just skip it again? I bet you I skipped it again. Now is it working? No! I bet you it's this pipe. If I do this. That's a bit messed up. Alright, anyway. We've got this. This is just. I wonder what he's doing. Okay, so I got some cooked mutton. I'm gonna eat this. Mmm, flam. Okay. So I think we're gonna go work on the mob farm. And yes. Let's see how many levels we can get. Let's get this one. Protection one. Wow, best enchantment ever. We are going there right now. Oh my goodness. All right. So. This is a chest that we've had here for a little while. I took no damage from that. Alright, so. I'm going to fly up. And then this is this. But. I think. That's got to be it for today, guys. Actually, hang on. Let me up here. I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Hang on a minute. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to scrub scribe. Ha 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 ha. If you're a scrub, join us in the scrub army. You can see the guy down there. He just put his chip back on. Um, so, yes. 